So once you upload the plugin, you're gonna see these two areas. You're gonna see that a webinar plugin and webinar widget has been populated in here. Now the widget is that cool thing um, that you can put in your own website. So like if I go Casey Zeman online, uh, the widget is a registration box, okay? And uh, so it creates both of these for you. And let me just show you what I mean. This is the widget right here, okay? And you can put some text over it saying, hey, uh, this is the webinar about webinars, this is, or this is the webinar about uh, uh, Talk Fusion, or this is the webinar about whatever you want. Uh, and, it, uh, and they can choose the date, and it will send them uh, directly to uh, the registration page, as you can see here, okay? So that's what that, that, those are. All right, so now that we did that, we gotta go in the webinar tab down here. And now we're gonna add in that product key Okay, now, now that we added in the product key, um, we're in there now. Now we're going to create the webinar. So you just click on Create Webinar, okay? Uh, because when you're back here, this is the dashboard of your website. Um, essentially, it kind of looks like this same exact dashboard um, that you would find right here, okay? As you can see, right here. All right, so... Uh, what you would start doing is you would actually just start um, creating your your webinar. So you go into webinars, go into create webinar. Okay, and I think that we just up we just uh, updated this. So um, not quite sure if. Uh, uh, well, anyway, so how many of you guys have gone through this entire process? Okay, so I just got word that my volume is a little low. I think it's because I'm a bit sick, and I and, and maybe if you guys can turn up your speakers a bit, um, uh, I, I maybe it, it might sound good. Okay, so Eleanor hasn't gone through this. Dave has gone. Yes. Uh, oh, you guys are all the way up. Okay, uh, you were crystal clear. Thanks, Sai. So, can you um, have you guys gone through this particular process where you've uh, gotten into the uh, the website and you've uh, <clears throat> excuse me, gotten into the website and you've uh, actually started creating your first webinar? How many have done that already? Bueller. That's my go-to as I say Bueller. Um, if you haven't, then let me just quickly go through what we're doing here, okay? Uh, I'm going to call, I'm going to create a new webinar. Uh, first, I'm going to um, click here to update. And let me go back to dashboard. Webinars. Okay. Dashboard. Okay. I need to let me go in. Hold on one second, guys. Click out. Sign in. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's go to dashboard. Let's go into create webinar. And I'm going to create a new webinar. Um, okay, let me just see. I have not. Okay, I'm going to create a new webinar. And this particular webinar, uh, I'm going to put on, let's see, I'll put it on. Uh, this particular site okay so let me it what it does it automatically goes to whatever site you've selected in your select domains okay um, and uh, and then uh, let's go to and right now we're in a create webinar so what we can start doing is creating a new webinar now what I want to do is let's say I want to create a webinar that is for that's about uh, YouTube okay um, uh, and th this is obviously what you guys would be doing for, you know, what th this is all based on your own niche, whatever you're creating a webinar about, but you'd start off with the event name. Now for me, um, I have affiliates that promote my webinars and this is actually, let's say I'm going to make this into an affiliate webinar. Okay. Um, to where I have say, uh, Brian Bagnell is going to be. 
um, promoting. So I'm going to say Brian Bagnell promotion. Okay. Promoting my webinar. And this is my webinar all about YouTube um, and the 100K brand loophole. Okay. So if you guys, uh, and I want to ask another question. How many of you have created webinars, are using webinars right now, such as GoToWebinar or whatever else? GoToMeeting, anything else. Have you created webinars in the past? Let me know. Yes. Yes, you have. Okay. So I'm going to add my event right now. Um and uh, my event is going to be um, how to make 100K. No, let's do this. What YouTube isn't telling you about video marketing. Now, we, as you can see, there are f uh, like a limit of characters. Um, so let's, I'm telling you about vid marketing so I could do that um, what YouTube isn't telling you about about uh, proper about about marketing uh, about yeah about video isn't let's say what YouTube isn't telling you about your videos okay um, the the ninja video marketers guide to youtube success the ninja video marketers guide to youtube success webinar okay that's that's all i got okay so now that you've added those things, you can actually go in and start adding like logos and things like that. Now, for the sake of this webinar, I'm not going to actually add a logo, but you could upload an image. You could go in and grab, you know, something from your images over here. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm not going to actually do that. The other thing is that you can put the URL of an image and uh, go try to stick with 250 by 100 pixels, okay? Um, and then you can decide what you want your main display option to be. Now, I want a video, right? And so what I would do is I'd actually put a YouTube video in here uh, for the registration, okay? Because I don't, I don't care that it's going to be a red, the, the registration video and the thank you page video are YouTube. I'd actually prefer it because it's easier to upload and things like that, okay? Now, they do not have to be these. You can actually upload um, a... Uh, you can actually upload through here uh, a video yourself or put in an Amazon S3 uh, link here, okay? But for the sake of this webinar, I'm actually just going to use a YouTube video. So um, webinar event. In this webinar, you will learn all of the tactics for true video marketing marketing success okay um, all right and you could obviously put more here you could start putting bullets um, how to get 100,000 views in 24 hours so let me just put that back there okay uh, how to uh, connect with with your audience, so on and so forth, right? So that would be the description. Now, I like to always enable this. Uh, well, sometimes I like to enable it sometimes. This is so you can actually get the emails, uh, notifications every time someone actually registers for your event. Here's another thing. You can have your presenter name. Obviously, my name is Casey. And the URL. Let's see if I have a already existing. I think I do. Let's go with um, this one. Okay, let's see if that works. Presenter description. 
uh, Casey, and this these can be as long as you want, by the way, these description areas, because, <coughs> excuse me, they are, um, they're in a scroll down form. So um, they're kept in their very neat table. So uh, you would just have to uh, scroll down to read all of it. So it doesn't matter how long these are. Uh, Casey Zeman is the creator of YouTube Revealed, uh, the largest YouTube um, training center online. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would say something like uh, he is a coach. You know, this is where you'd obviously put all your stuff down. He is a coach, uh, a uh, internet marketing coach, and internet marketing coach and more let's okay let's fine let's keep moving so the thank you page is where you are going to uh have people go um after they register so the title of the thank you page can say congrats on registering you actually don't have to have anything in any of these act if you don't if you don't want a title or subtitle you can keep those blank um uh and have you know, call to action, say in a, in a, in the video. So you can pop in a video here and in that video, you can say like, Hey, thank you for signing up for the webinar. Uh, now uh, what I want you to do is while you're at this page, I have a free gift for you. I want you to download that free gift, but to, in order to unlock that gift, you have to share it to your Facebook page to your Twitter page to Google plus. Okay. And, uh, and it, and what happens is once they share that, it goes into their, um, news feed. Okay. With whatever image you're, you're putting up here. So, uh, it's really kind of great. This actually creates a very viral effect when you're, uh, when you're doing your webinar. So I always recommend you guys, <coughs> excuse me, doing that. Let's put description. Uh, uh, first thing to do, to do, um, print this page. Second thing to do, share this page. Share this page. Third, third thing to do, download your free gift okay so that is those here's some that's how you can direct people to doing what you want them to do essentially right all right so now here is the attendee share incentive and that's this is where you actually get it shared so i've just registered to webinar title and i think you should too okay so you can put in your uh webinar title here uh let's say um youtube Mastermind YouTube Mastery webinar, okay. Yeah, let's just move remove those. And post description can be for Facebook. This webinar, uh, uh, I was able to get a, I was able to download a free gift by registering. And it is really helpful. I suggest you register right now. Okay. So that would be shared on someone's wall. <coughs> and you can share whichever, a document or a video. Let's say I just share a, a document. You can, of course, uh, browse your computer and grab a um, a document, uh, and that can be in the form of a, a text, a PDF, or whatever. Uh, I think I may have actually already something. Yeah, so there's that already. So I'm just going to pop that in. That's a PDF right there. Okay, and this is where you then start scheduling your webinars, okay? So uh, in scheduling your webinars, um, you really want to kind of look at it from, you know, how how readily available can you be? Now, I like to have it as the attendee. And I'm going to do uh, specific days. 
I'm actually going to do uh, select days in the week, okay? Um, I want to do Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and, uh, and Sunday. And I also want to enable it right now, which essentially means that once someone comes to the page, they can actually watch your webinar right that, at that time. They bypass the thank you page and go straight to the registration or to the webinar, okay? Now, you can start the date, uh, start the webinar and end the webinar whenever you want. So if you have a webinar that you want to end uh, on the 30th of, uh, or say on the, yeah, on the 30th of, 30th of August, um, you can ac actually obviously start this one today, right? And end this on the 31st of August, let's say. And let's say I want to run this two times a day, and I want to run it at 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. PM. But actually, let me change this one to 11 a.m., okay? So I want to have a pretty uh, wide gap there, actually, I'm thinking. So, and then uh, the webinar block days is when someone comes to the webinar, how many days do you want uh, for them? Uh, how many days do you want to block that they cannot register after uh or they cannot watch the webinar from when they come to the registration page. I hope that made sense. Um, so, well, for instance, if I put one, if they come to the webinar today, uh, then they can't register for the next webinar today. They'd have to register for tomorrow's webinar, okay? Now, if I put zero and they come now, and let's say uh, the webinar is at, say, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, they're in their time zone, they can still watch today's webinar, Okay, so I'm just going to put zero uh, so they can watch it the same day. And how many days do you want to show? So, you know, we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. I want to show three dates, okay? So when they come to the webinar, they can choose, um, actually, I'll do two of them. So I want them to choose two dates, okay? And I'll show you what that is. Okay, so the URL link for your videos. Now, some of you guys, I think, have, um, okay, Eleanor just asked, what time zone is this in? Well, Eleanor, this is in your time zone, uh, the attendee's time zone, okay? So it doesn't matter. It's not in the person that's putting it on, the admin. It's in, on, in the attendee's time zone. So when they come to the webinar at, say, 10 a.m. their time, and they see an 11 a.m., they can still register for that one. So it's in their time zone, and that's um, the nice thing, obviously, about that is that it's uh, uh, you can um, make sure that things come through there. Okay, um, so uh, now what we're going to do, let me just bring my mouse back over. Some of you guys probably have video hosting uh, that we do for you. If that's the case, there's a different area to where you would actually upload your videos. Now, if you do not have the video hosting, uh, then you are going to be essentially adding in your own S3 video here. So that can be in the form of an HTTP video or an RTMP. Now, if you guys don't know the difference between the two, RTMP is a stream video, and HTTP is a downloaded video. So if you wanted to make sure that you are putting in an, H, uh, uh, an RTMP, which is a stream video, then what you would do is you'd actually go in, and uh, we have an Amazon API, and you'd add in your security credentials, okay, authenticate, and you'd upload your video right into here, okay? And what it does is it creates it, it turns it into an RTMP video. An RTMP video is a stream video. And, an, and an, another way to think about that is a stream video will play at the specific time that you choose. Sorry, uh, this chest cold is killing me. Um, it, it plays at the specific time that you choose. So if you want your video to play, uh, at, or rather it plays at the specific time that the attendee chooses. So if the attendee comes 30 minutes late to the webinar, they're actually coming 30 minutes late to the video. And that's the whole point of the RTMP video is that it's streamed to play um, late. 
Now, you can also, as I've already mentioned, put an HTTP video here, okay? Um, and, and what that does is if someone comes late to the webinar, they actually start from the beginning, okay? It doesn't, they don't come in to where uh, they're late by. Uh, they can come in right from the beginning. So we give you that option. And you can put a YouTube video in here. I don't necessarily recommend it because they have their own branding. So my suggestion is to use um, either the RTMP upload or add your own HTTP in here uh, with um, from Amazon. So what I'm going to do is let me see if I have in my desktop and the computer is really messy right now. Let's see if I have any short uh, video small range okay uh let me take this out very quickly copy move that and let's upload so it's uploading and generally speaking okay see now you see how fast that was it that it uploaded the reason it uploaded really quick is because it's a short video but a two hour video a two hour webinar is going to take some time. It's probably going to take about an hour to upload, okay? So you're going to want to let it do its thing for a bit. It could take maybe 30 minutes if you're lucky, but generally speaking, a two-hour webinar is going to take some time. Um, so what you're going to do now is you're going to add the minutes and seconds of however long your webinar is. So let me actually go in and see if I can find uh, this Let's see here, a uh, new finder window, and I'm going to go to desktop, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to find small range. Okay, so we're recording, that's good. Okay, so it's, so it's two seconds, it looks like, right? One, two. Okay, so it's two seconds. So I'm going to put in here two seconds that's how long the video is okay now you can also redirect at the end so let's say I want people to go to uh, a a uh, buy now page um, I could put send them to my uh, YouTube revealed forward slash let's see coaching okay that would send them there and uh, then uh, I want to enable the chat box and in the chat box, the nice thing that I do is sometimes I say, we are taking questions. We, we love questions. We love your questions. Please uh, go ahead and ask. And our webinar monitor will answer when she can or something <coughs> okay so that they know that you are gonna have someone answer while the webinar is going on okay email address to receive questions posted through the chat box um, I'm gonna put Casey at Casey Zeman online.com okay Okay, uh, now the timed events. Now, guys, uh, if you guys have ever set these things up, um, yes, Dave, uh, you have to use Amazon S3 if you want to do the, uh, the streaming, the RTMP. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we have set up for the RTMP. We do host videos for you, and they'll create an RTMP for you. So for those that do not want to go through the hassle and problems of uh, going through Amazon S3, we do our own hosting. So uh, it's a $67 a month um, on top of what the plugin costs, uh, and uh, we also give you training as well. But that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. We've made it obviously autonomous to where you don't need any of that. You can actually, if you have your own Amazon S3, you can just upload through our API, and it'll create an RTMP for you here. Okay. Um, so the the... The, the multiple delayed events. Now, the delayed events are cool because they essentially um, are call to actions that pop up during the video, okay? Now, this video is really short, so I'm probably going to just take one call to action and I'm going to have it show up all the way through. And it's going to be 
get access now and I'm gonna put the link um, right here so uh, actually I wonder if I have something already populated there no now uh, honestly I don't know if you'd want to redirect somebody while you still have that but if your webinar is like an hour and a half long and maybe at the hour, one hour point is when you actually um, have your delayed event show up to where you're you're now saying hey come in and join us join our community and, and um, you know this is how much we cost you know uh, if, if this is where you're gonna pitch your product um, I, it's still probably okay obviously this is a two minute long two second long guy so I'm actually uh, not going to redirect because <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense but I'm gonna put do reveal.com coaching Okay, and you can have a text right here, like be the first, be one of, be one of only 10 spots available. Okay, so you could do that. I'm terrible at spelling right now. Uh, oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, so you could do that. Now, another ninja thing that you can actually do is if you really want something like this to be true, if you want to add scarcity to your uh, product uh, while not lying about it, um, we have what's called a scarcity feature. And if you enable it, it's, it's very similar to a delayed event. But what it does, it, it has a countdown timer. Um, and it can count down, um, say, to... Uh, it can count down how many products are available over a specific period of time. So let's say only uh, XXX remaining to get the bonuses, to get, to get, oh, um, only bonuses, say bonuses remaining, okay? So uh, I, I might have to put on a longer video because two seconds is really not a long enough time. Um, let me upload a different video, actually. Sorry. Uh, and I'll try to find something that is probably in the five-minute mark or four-minute mark. Okay, let me see what I have here. Do, 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 do. Um, welcome videos. Uh, thank you. Let's see what this hey, one is. thanks for signing up for the webinar. So on this particular page, I... Oh, okay. Thank you very much for signing up for this. Okay, let's do this one. Um, how long was that? Hold on, let me just go back and check, sorry. 22 seconds, good enough for me, okay. Um, okay, so cancel, let's upload. And uh, 22 seconds. So we're going to put 22. Uh, and I'm actually going to eliminate this timed event. And I'm only going to use the scarcity feature. So 20 seconds. OK. Uh, and I'm going to start with 10. I'm going to start with 10 units available. Uh, going to one unit available okay and um and so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say for the next 20 seconds you can get um uh, a an additional an ipad with your purchase Okay, per chess. So you can have only iPads remaining. iPads. iPads remaining. For the next 20 seconds, you can get an iPad with your purchase. Okay. Now, uh, then you can obviously put in, you can either upload your own button or you can use one of ours. So um, buy now. And let's say I use a link where I'm actually giving away an iPad, right? 
So it, I wouldn't necessarily use the same link that I was doing um, in maybe the sale, right? Where I was, uh, where I had like a my you know my coaching, but maybe I have one that's specific to this iPad, okay? And what I'm saying is like in an hour and a half long webinar, you can have you know the normal price pop up at some point. Hold that out for a little bit, and then say. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, tell them about a bonus in the beginning. Say, guys, we have a gonna, we're gonna have a bonus in the at, at, available at the end. And then what you can do is say, all right, guys. So now, now for the next ten minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give everybody who purchases right now an iPad. Okay, but only in the, for the next ten minutes, and uh, and you're gonna see that we have only a select amount of iPads available. Okay, and that's where the uh, the countdown timer comes in handy. You know, and then you have the link, which is, let's say, uh, iPad bonus, okay? And you only have that available for a specific amount of time. So they have to get it while it's available for the next whatever, however much time you give them, like 10 seconds, 10 minutes, or whatever, okay? Uh, and so that's really a kind of a nice way of doing scarcity. Uh, does that make sense to you guys? Hopefully it makes some sense here. Um, let me just go through. Okay. Um, so let's keep pushing forward here. So now your attendee list, you can enable this. And you can actually have uh, a maximum, a number of attendees. And you can actually, and you can input uh, simulated n names here, okay? Now when you use um, the right now feature, it actually populates people in real time actual actually watching the webinar. So what you would do here is you'd have that um, and these names kind of co-mingling with each other, okay? And the person who actually comes to attend the webinar, they're automatically at the top of the list in terms of their names, all right? So we have a blend that you can use of simulated names and real names, all right? Okay, so I'm going to do that. Now, uh, this is where we have uh, the choice of themes, okay? Now, we are actually working on some new themes right now, but for the time being, um, I personally like this theme, uh, and you can obviously do it in orange or, uh, or off orange, I guess you'd say, and, uh, and, and really just create it yourself there. Um, and then we have the email notification, okay? Now... Email notification, guys. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have actually started using the email notification, but um, the whole point of this is you can add your own autoresponders HTML right here, okay? The, the HTML code, okay? And, uh, and then that saves them to your list. So let's say I want to, you know, I want to go in and... Um, I want to put my, let's see if I have, actually, I'm going to save this, okay? Save this right now. Yeah, it's saying, wait, you need to finish that. But I'm going to go into my other webinars for a minute. Hold on. Stay on page. Okay. Expand. Damn smart uh, software telling me I have to finish. Okay. Uh, Built-in notification, save. Okay, now it's configuring. It, all right, so now while that's doing that, I want to go in and grab this. I want to edit this one out, and I want to grab the uh, code that I think I put in there for the autoresponder. Let me just go in and check if I did that. No, okay, so it's in the other one. Uh, so go back to your dashboard. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to create webinar. I'm going to flip into demo, easy webinar plugin, the other website. I'm going to go into here to look at the webinars. I'm going to grab this, edit webinar. I'm going to grab the code, expand this. I'm going to grab the uh, code that I put in to 
right up here. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jumped it too far. Okay, I'm going to grab this code right here, as you can see. This code is, uh, is essentially your form code, right? Uh, from your autoresponder. And you would, you were essentially, what you're doing is you're copying and pasting it in. And then um, what you're going to do, so let me just go back into webinars. Let me go back into youtubereveal.com. And this is the one we were working on. So let's edit this. Let's expand this out. And let's pop this sucker into both. All right. And the email sender's name is Casey. Email sender's address name um, email is online. Or actually, if this is coming from YouTube, then I'd have it as youtuberevealed.com. Okay. So, uh, so that's what you do. You put your um, autoresponder uh, code in here, and uh, and our code finds the first name and the email. All right. Now, you can also choose just to have your autoresponder or just use our built-in notification system. But we suggest both, both because then this adds a list to your autoresponder, and uh, and your autoresponder can't resp can't actually send out notifications on time um, because. Uh, it's just almost near impossible for them to know when an attendee is going to be watching a webinar. So, I mean, if you had set, if you set up your webinars for, say, set by admin, which is you, um, then it would be so much easier to actually use the um, the auto res the autoresponder because then you know that your webinars are at 2 p.m. on Thursdays, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you know that uh, you send an email out uh, three days before that time, two days before that time, one day before that time, when it is your admin. But when you're having it to where it's an atten the attendees are choosing and in their own time zone, it's near impossible for you to actually create lists for each and every time in each and every time zone. So what ours does is it uh, does it for you. It sends out the uh, notification uh, in the uh, at the at the time of when someone watches in their own time zone. So first there's an email, there's a welcome email, um, which says, hi, congrats for signing up. Hi, congrats for signing up. Uh, important webinar info inside. Okay. And I want to use this one. We have these three options for um, creating uh, already existing templates. Change this to 12. And, uh, and this, this already links it up, right? All you have to do is just change out this info right here. So your seat's been reserved for the YouTube Mastery Program. Webinar, rather. Webinar. Wait. Let me try that again. Uh, let me th let me do this one first. Your C has been served for the YouTube field mastery webinar. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Please make sure that you save this email because it has your unique webinar uh, register, um, attendee link inside it. Okay, and that's right here. Make sure you white label all existing emails that come through this uh, email provider or through this through for this webinar for this webinar to make sure that you get there on time sure that you get there on time okay um, so I'm gonna just leave that 
All right, that's the welcome email. And then I'm going to send out pre-webinar notifications. I'm going to send out three of them. So my first one is going to be three days before the webinar. So let's say someone decides to register today for a webinar three days away. Well, if they do that, um, then I would send out this email that says, Hi, username. Your webinar starts in three days. Um, I wanted to give you a syllabus. Um, syllabus of the webinar so that you can st study up on it prior to coming uh, to the event. Okay, and then you can have a downloaded video so you can or a link. So click here to access access the syllabus. Oh my gosh, I can't type. Okay. You could take that and create a link out of it. And that could be like a PDF, right? And insert. Okay. And uh See you at the webinar. See you at the webinar. All right. All right, that's number one. Number two can be two days away, and it can obviously be uh, webinar starts in two days. You can have another one of these. Uh, and uh, don't forget to, you know, don't forget to, to mark this in your calendar. We're really excited to have you there. Then you can do one day, uh, and uh, you can have that one. Um, and uh, if you wanted to do another one, you could do it three day, three hours before. Um, actually, sorry, I've been doing these at one hour. So let's say one day. Sorry about that. Two days. And three days. Okay. But you can also do hours and minutes. So you can go 15 minutes before the webinar three hours before the webinar, you know, all of those are good. You don't want to inundate people too much, but my suggestion is uh, three, two, one, um, and then and then three hours before, one hour before, and then 15 minutes before, okay? That's my suggestion. Okay, but now you could do your post-webinar. So this is for your replay. So let's say I want to do three. So I would say create something 24 hours later, and I'd say the replay is up. Okay, um, uh, let's say the replay is up. The, the replay is up. Okay, and then I have the, um, it would automatically, uh, if you pop this in, you could change this around, say join the replay, things like that. Um, or the other thing you could do here is uh, you could actually go in <clears throat> and take the short code for the replay right here. See? So copy that. Here's the replay code. Go in and uh, and add it to to this guy right here. Okay? Uh, let me see here. Yeah. So you can add the, the replay in here. Let me actually... Zero. Okay. Uh, let me go with one and put the replay code right there. Okay. So the that's really nice. You, obviously, you can you can do that, and you can create many of those. So and then you know obviously what you're going to do at this point is you're going to save the webinar, and let it configure. Okay. And uh, first things first, I want to check out the the replay here. Thank you very much for signing up for the video marketing boot camp. I'm excited to see you guys in there. My name is Casey Beer. Okay. And as you can see, it shows one iPad remaining. Now, the reason it says one iPad is because 20 seconds is not a long time. Uh, for, let's see, let's go into edit webinar and let's start off at, let's expand that and 
Let's go to scarcity. Scarcity. Okay. Let's start with five. Okay. Uh, and over that period of time. Now, uh, I did not, as you can see, the some things were a little weird looking like my... Um, my uh, uh, t my presenter presenter image. I bet that's because that one is too big. So let's pop in that one, and let's click save. And here it is, right? Yeah. And let's just refresh that. It looked like it didn't take that that particular uh, image. So, I mean, you, you guys essentially would be testing and playing with this uh, to make it work for you. Um, again, 20 seconds is not a long time for the uh, scarcity feature to really do its thing. Um, so uh, I probably would have to let me actually increase this to 58 seconds and see if I can fool it into believing it's that long. Uh, and then also let me just go into my presenter. Okay. All right, now let's save that. <clears throat> and do this one more time. So the reason I go and check out the replay page is because essentially it's gonna show me what the actual webinar is gonna look like. And the reason I like that is because, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the reason I like that is because, and the reason I do it that way is because if I tried to click through the webinar event page right here, it would actually redirect me to the uh, registration page, which is right here, as you can see, yeah? So this is the registration page that it automatically creates, um, and you'd have your YouTube video in here, so I'd pause that and uh, and I you know I just I choose what time I want to come to the webinar, um, uh, and uh, as you can see because I chose zero for um, how much time uh, between it, I would actually want to watch this in at the next available time which is eight o'clock in my own time zone. Uh, and let me type in uh, Valerie, Valerie, and type in Casey at kczemanonline.com, register, uh, be, and I'm doing this because uh, it would be um, it would be uh, kind of too difficult to do otherwise. So, um, okay, cool. Thank you so much. You decided to. So there's that. Uh, let me just go back in here, uh, and uh, and so what you have here is. You have the, uh, the the registration page, um, and now that we're registered, it would go to the event page. Um, or, again, if we go to the registration page, uh, people can watch this right now. So let me just pause this, and they would watch it right now. And you could put your name, and okay, and register. Now, uh, the reason it took you to this thank you page, guys, is because in my I, I put in the one uh, when you create your autoresponder list, um, you're going to be uh, and this so this is what it's doing. As you can see, it's it's kind of warming up. You're they're connecting you to the webinar itself. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, and here's the name. As you can see, I just I was the one that signed up here, so my name is the first one that shows up. Now, I can also go in and say, my name is Casey. My email is caseyzeman at yahoo.com. And, uh, and so, yeah, I tricked it. See, it's at three. No, it thinks it's going to be 99 seconds. I like, oh, can I get this in bulk? Okay, and I'd submit that. And uh, that would be sent to my email, essentially, into my uh, into my Gmail account, which I think would be, let's just quickly go check that out. Uh, uh, I don't 
be it. Okay, there we go. Webinar question. Can I get this in bulk? See? So you can answer these guys in real time um, through, the, uh, through the actual webinar, which is great. Okay, so that's essentially what the software does. Uh, and there's another thing that you need to do in order to make sure um, in order to make sure that uh, your emails are going out. And that's what's called setting your cron jobs. Okay. Uh, okay, see you, Dave. Um, uh, so Eleanor's asking, what size should the uh, image be? For a really great image, um, this image is uh, right here. You see, it's really nice, right? It's 100 by 100. Uh, so just like GoToWebinar, you want to try to go for that. Now, I actually, I think this is 85 by 95. So anything smaller than that would actually be okay. And it would actually not look distorted. Um, and then obviously you could buy, see, but I didn't, there is no iPad bonus. <laughs> so, um, uh, but the other thing, as I said, was the cron job. Okay. Now, a, do, how many of you guys know what a cron job is? For those still on. Assuming not many of you. Yeah, no. Well, a cron job is a command, okay? And you need to set the command in order for the emails to go through. So what you would do at that point is you would go into your, uh, your website, essentially, or your cPanel. So let's go back into cPanel. And you scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see, actually, let me see here. Where's cron jobs? Cron jobs right here. What you'll do is you'll click on that, and you'll add, add these commands into your cPanel. Okay? Now, uh, you're probably wondering, well, where do I get that information? Well, it's right here. Let's see all webinars. If you go into your admin, go into FAQ down here, right here, FAQ. Click on that, and you can download the PDF, which is right at the top, for the cron jobs. Okay, you save the file. And this is the cron job document right here. Okay? <coughs> and it really walks you through how to set your cron jobs up. And you're going to set your cron jobs to be every 15 minutes, every hour, every day, every month, every weekday, okay? And depending on what the pathway is for your website, um, you're going to have uh, different things show up here, okay? Um, let's say that uh, it's, a, uh, it's a WordPress site, okay? Installed on a, uh, on a root folder. Um, you would follow these particular steps. So let's say I wanted to set up a cron job on all of my websites. So I'm in here, and as you can see right here, um, I it's actually telling me where do I want to set my cron jobs up. And I actually set my cron jobs up on the demo, okay, on the Easy Webinar, on demo.easywebinar plugin. So it's under the public HTML and then demo. So what you would do is, uh, let me go back into the document. See how it has demo right there? Well, this is where you would put an extension or uh, you would simply just put your, let's see if I have an example. Um, your website, okay? Does this, does this make sense to you guys? Because I have, like, for instance, I just created that, 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 um, <clears throat> excuse me. I created this site, which is called Test, right? So uh, what I would do now here is I'd add a new cron job. I'd take this command. Okay, I take first one is first, which is for the get 
webinar notifications, copy. And I add the command there. And instead of blog, I would put test. Okay, because that's what's going to show up in the public HTML. And as I said, you just follow along with uh, this data. So every 15 minutes, every hour, every day, every month, every weekday. And I think actually it gives you that setting beforehand. Um, and I think that's actually, let me just check this out. So every 15 minutes, every hour, every day, every month. Okay, so every 15 minutes. Let's go with. every 15 minutes there we go okay so now I put in every 15 minutes every hour okay and that's that that's how it's defined with the asterisk if that's how you say that every day every month every weekday so every 15 minutes then you'd add that new cron job in okay and you just click add new cron job and here it is right here okay so then you would go in and grab the other one all right because your first one was this one, the notification. Now the second one is uh, webinar plugin, webinar uh, cron job. So you're going to grab that, copy, and you're going to pop that sucker in here again. Change this to test, test. I'm going to go to common settings five minutes but I'm going to change this to every 15 minutes and it's going to give all of those I'm going to add that cron job so now I have four cron jobs as you can see and uh, two are test and two are demo all right and this will help me make sure the emails go through and uh, and also uh, it will help me for um, for this one right here, which is the uh, the second thing that you need. One is get webinar uh, notifications, and they're both dealing with email, okay? All right, so that's essentially how you would set up your cron jobs, and that will guarantee that your emails go through. Um, now, <clears throat> so are you hosting, so Eleanor asks, are you hosting this, the webinar plugin on a subdomain? Yeah, remember I just created that test folder? On a subdomain. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Yes, I have videos in the in the back office that walk you through all this stuff. Okay, so if you're already a member, uh, it's already back there for you. Uh, do you have uh, to set up cron jobs for each webinar, or just once for the domain where the plugin is installed? Uh, just once for where the domain is for where the plugin is installed, Bob. Uh, you don't have to do it for every single webinar. Um, as you can see here, the pathway would be normal. It's just that you have to tell where you're putting it. So as you know, I put this on a, the, the subdomain called test, right? And that's why I set that cron job up. Now, this one is for demo, which is for demo.easywebinarplugin.com. Now, if you guys don't, if you dedicate one website to, you know, one single domain to your webinars, all you have to do is do this one time. Um, and, uh, and, and it'll always work for it, right? Uh, just like, Bob, what you just said. So you could just do it that way. Okay, so I'm going to actually um, I'm gonna delete these because I don't need them on here. I'm not really going to use this. And here's the other one. So test. I'm going to delete that. Select and delete. Okay. And that's essentially how you get your emails to, uh, to go out. All right. Um, okay, now, um, are there any questions uh, on what I just showed you? Are there any questions at all on, uh, on some of this stuff? Let's go ahead and, and put your questions in the question box. While at the same time, I want to tell you that what's always nice is that you see how I have Jorg Schmidt webinar with replay? Uh, and then I have Brian Bagnell. So I could take one webinar that's already been created, and let's say I want an affiliate to promote it. 
Well, what I would do is I would take this particular webinar and I would clone this webinar, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. I would expand this. So I clone this webinar and I would name it a different name. I'd call it, I'd say, um, John Doe promoting me, right? And, uh, and then what I can do is I can easily change out in the timed events or the uh, scarcity, the link. So I can now put that, I can put in um, John Doe instead of York Schmidt. John Doe, okay? So now I just added somebody else in there, somebody else's affiliate link into the webinar. And you tell John, you tell you, whoever is promoting you to um, send people through the registration. Uh, and, and you can obviously do this just like any other tracking, okay? Uh, you can add tracking to the front of the webinar. Um, and a nice way to do that is just doing a Google ad uh, link tracking. And then obviously you can add their, um, their link uh, inside the webinar. So now let's say it's a ClickBank product. Well, uh, what's nice is that you can have your ClickBank, uh, 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 sorry, your ClickBank um, shopping cart link here, and your affiliate can actually send traffic through, and it'll drop the cookie for 30 days, right? So even if they come late, uh, you can always have other affiliates promoting one of your webinars. So you can have like many affiliates promoting one of your webinars as long as they know that, uh, you know, that, that they just need to make sure that they're using their own hop link, you know, to promote it. Okay. Uh, does that make sense? Jesus is saying, uh, can I use Rackspace cloud files? You mean for the emails? We haven't we haven't set anything up to where we can integrate with Rackspace. Uh, although I have actually been talking and thinking about doing that. Um, if you can figure out how to do that, uh, where you can set it up to where you don't need the cron jobs, what we were going to possibly do is just uh, integrate with Ra Rackspace. And uh, and offer it as a uh, as a hosting, you know, in, in in with our hosting packages that we do for the video. So we would host the video and the email just to guarantee that it goes through. If your uh, own emails on your hosting company, if they don't necessarily go through, you know, if they're not whitelisted or something like that. Um, and then your second question is: button labels can be translated or are in the image itself? Uh, no, right here. Um, see these? You can choose your own button. You can browse your system and actually upload your own button here. So let's say, I don't know if I have a shopping cart button anywhere. Um, uh, I think I have a download button. So I can open that up. But you want to make sure that you're sticking kind of with what the guidelines are for the size of that button, and you'd then you'd uh, you'd upload that button essentially, okay? Uh, and then you can enter the label for that button so you remember it. So you can be my uh, super big download button, okay? And then you'd have the button link, which would go right there. So uh, so yeah, um, and then you'd. You'd save this. Let's see if that works. I see that it's thinking about saving it. Okay. Um, and and essentially you'd you'd go from there. Um, now I may be at actually, yeah. For this particular one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I can make any more webinars. I might be at my limit. 
um, for this particular uh, site that I have. Um, but that's essentially how you would do it. If you had unlimited webinars, you could make unlimited, uh, you could create unlimited affiliate webinars, right? So you could always just take one and, and uh, um, clone it and move on. The other thing, which is nice, uh, let me just go into demo. Uh, another thing that is nice is, hold on one second, your marketing promo link. Okay. Another thing that's nice is that you can actually get stats for your webinar and we kind of do it similarly to say, go to webinar. So you'd print up the report, um, and you could download the report and it would have all the emails in there. So if you did not say collect all the emails, they would be in the CSV file. All right. Uh, you can also know uh, when someone came to a webinar, if uh, did they attend the webinar uh, and if they watched all the way through. OK, so you can get have all that data right there. It's kind of nice. Uh, and you can take that and obviously put it into your own autoresponder and have it available for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Bob said, if I want to promote the webinar on Facebook, I assume I could put the widget code on a Facebook page and send Facebook ad traffic to that page. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct, Bob. Uh, another way you could do it is the actual webinar page, uh, the registration page rather, um, you can have that and put that into your uh, Facebook page because I believe that this space is uh, 800 right here. So it would fit in your Facebook. Um, but yeah, you could definitely take the, the widget, which is right here, right? The get widget code right here. Uh, and you could take that and embed that into uh, Facebook, essentially, okay? Um, and drive traffic to it. Uh, a couple other things is that you have some size options here for that dimension for the widget uh, registration box. You also have colors that you can choose from right here. And uh, and then you just essentially copy it and uh, and paste it in. And it will, it will pretty much look like um, what I showed you guys before at Casey's Even Online. It'll look like this guy. Just give it a second. All right, so it looked like this guy right here. See? Hold on. Let it let it warm up. And uh, and you could have um, text above this, obviously, saying, "Come by, come to our, you know, blah 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 webinar uh, that's starting on, uh, you know, all about, you know." Uh, Facebook, uh, you know, and you could put this in your, in a web, web page, right? And work around this particular widget. So then it would send people to the registration page. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you could definitely do it that way. Um, okay. Any other questions while I'm, while we're on here? I think, um, how many people don't have this software yet? How many people don't have the software and you were thinking about getting it, but you wanted to see this webinar to kind of get more ideas and understanding of how it works. How many of you guys? Because there's a couple of things we can do. Um, my guys and I are willing to help you with customizing your webinar. So this goes along for people that are already, that have the product already. We can help you customize design. We can also help you customize it if it's just like you don't want to go through the hassle of it. Uh, it's going to be an additional cost, but let me know. Drop me a line at Casey, uh, Casey at, at um, easywebinarplugin.com. Let me know if that's something you might want to do, uh, and, and we'll do it for you because my intention is to try to get you guys set up, okay? I want to make sure it happens, and, and, you know, there are these stumbling blocks that happen because, you know, there's like the cron jobs and other things that sort of slow people down, and we just don't want that to happen. We want to actually... 
uh, build a community here. So we're wanting to do kind of the work for you if you need it, all right, to get your webinars up and running, get them uh, going so that you can um, start, you know, either making money from them, use them as a lead generation tool, um, uh, use them as a teaching mechanism, because we have a lot of different folks that use them. We have uh, universities that use them, use it. We have um, uh, an adoption company that uses it. Uh, we have like, uh, there's so many different websites and different types of people using the software. So, uh, it, it, because obviously this has a lot of applications, you know, it can really work well for uh, just, just being a nurturing device, you know, connecting back with someone who's interested in your product, you know. So obviously, if they leave a comment during your webinar, you can respond to them in real time. And I've done that plenty of times and have, have produced sales from doing that. So um, I definitely think that it would be uh, worthwhile for you to, to uh, you know, to start setting it up if you haven't done so yet. So anyway, um, if, uh, if there are those who do want to get it and have not gotten it yet, you can go to easywebinarplugin.com and you can go, let me just log out. You can go into pricing and we have two prices right now. And these prices actually are going to change because we're, we're talking about doing a monthly. So once we do the monthly, um, it's going, they're going to be like uh, 37, 67, um, 97, things like that uh, for different bandwidth usage and things like that. But at the moment, you can get these for uh, just one price, and it's for life. So uh, when we when we actually start upgrading and adding new things, which we're doing all the time, uh, you don't have to pay additionally. Uh, so one thing that we're actually doing, which is kind of cool, is I've been testing out live webinars with the software. Okay, um, it's very cool. Uh, I just tested it out just, you know, a, a little bit ago. And right now we're in the beta phase of the uh, of the live webinar. So uh, for those who, you know, um, want to be able to take advantage of that when it comes out to where you don't need to be using, say, GoToWebinar, um, we're going to have that for you. And if you get in now, then you get in for the rest of, uh, of your life at that particular price. Okay. All right. Um, I think that's it uh, from me. Uh, thanks, Eleanor. Thank you, um, Bob, uh, Jesus, uh, Dave, Cy, um, John, uh, Robin, uh, I Feel God Brown, <laughs> um, and, uh, and the rest of everybody who joined me for the webinar. Thank you for showing up. Uh, again, if you have any questions, do let me know, and I'll obviously type in our URL here plugin.com and I'll send that to all so you have it okay so um, thanks guys for showing up if you guys uh, I also for those who are using the product I'm actually also looking for testimonials so if there's anyone out there who's tested it who's liking it uh, get with me and, and we'll have maybe a do a little interview um, either on video or just simply an mp3 or even a text okay so I'd love to hear from you all right. Um, anyway, I will. Uh, I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Again, thank you so much for stopping by, and uh, I'll see you guys on the inside. Okay. And obviously, drop me a line on Facebook. Uh, just type in Casey Zeman on Facebook, and you'll find me. There is, of course, a girl with a horse. That's not me. I'm the guy with a wife in the picture. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for bearing with me while I have this cold. All right, see you guys later. Bye.